Hello everyone and welcome to Linux Forensics here at Pentester Academy. In this video, I wanted to talk about software-based write blocking. Namely, I wanted to talk about something called the Fordeck, which is an add-on to my Linux that runs on the Beagle family of devices known as the DEC. And it is intended to allow you to set up a magic hub so that everything that's connected to that hub is automatically mounted and automatically mounted as read only. In order to accomplish this, I use some simple UDEV rules. If you're not familiar with UDEV rules, they handle how devices are mounted, unmounted, etc., on a Linux system. So what I have here is a basic shell script that will install the Fordec. Now, I just recently came out with a new version of this, and the reason for that is that USB 3 hubs actually present themselves as two devices. One of them is a USB 3 hub, and the other one is a USB 2 hub. In order to handle those devices, which is something that wasn't supported by the BeagleBone, it does not do USB 3 at this time, I had to add the ability to add a second product ID to this script. Here's how it works. I have three possible parameters. You run the install script, you give it a vendor ID, and you give it at least one product ID, and optionally, you give it a second product ID if you have a USB 3 hub. And how this works, it creates some UDEV rules, and UDEV rules are actually pretty simple. You can get more details on this, by the way, if you look at the USB Forensics course here at Pentester Academy. But in a nutshell, what this does is it says, whenever I add a block device and it's downstream from this particular vid and this particular PID, set an environment variable, fill mount, set another one, fill dev to the name of the device, add a script to the scripts that are to be run and the first script is called prot mount sh and it is passed two variables the name of the device and its number so if it's sdb3 this first parameter is sdb3 and the second one is just three this script which we'll look at in a second actually generates another script that is run. And the reason for multiple scripts, when these scripts are actually ran, they do not have all the information available. So when I originally insert a drive, it is not yet ready to be mounted. So I have to add some things to be run later. And when it's removed, I do the same thing. If it's a block device, it's being removed and it's downstream from the appropriate hub. Then I run a different script, prot3.sh, and I give it those same two parameters. Other rules say if it's a fill mount, if it's one of these special deals, then set the environment variable udisk presentation to hide. In other words, don't pop up a message and set the hint to never, which means don't ever try to mount this and call this script. And this script, again, was created by prot mount. Similarly, when you unmount, it will run prot mount four dash the partition number. So pretty simple. And then I have a second clause in this function, and its purpose is just to set up the second PID if there is one. So the first you test to see if there is one, and if there is, you do the exact same thing and add rules for that 
PID as well. And then these scripts get copied to Etsy UDEV scripts, and one rule is created in Etsy UDEV rules.d. And the name of that rule is right here. It's 10 dash protected mount rules. So how do you use this? It's very simple. I'll go out here to my terminal. So I've gone to my terminal. I need to run this as root. But before I do that, I'm going to grab my USB 3 hub. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in so I can get the appropriate vendor ID and product ID. If I do an LS USB, I will see that in fact, here's my USB 3 hub right here. And here is my USB 2 hub. So let's go ahead and install it. So sudo install dash dash vid 05e3 dash dash pid 0612 and dash dash pid 20610. So if I plug in a drive it should be automatically mounted and mounted as read only and I see it showing up here and once again I can type mount and I can verify that yes in fact my device was mounted right here I can see that it was mounted and I see that it was mounted as read-only. That was a USB 2 device. I'll unplug it, check my mount. Notice it was successfully unmounted and now if I plug in a USB 3 drive it was also successfully mounted. And in this case, notice that I had three partitions and all of them were mounted as read-only. Well, that's all for this video. As always, if you're enjoying these videos here at Pentester Academy, please tell a friend. We'll see you soon.